In hopes of acquiring a certificate of need for an ambulance service, a hearing was held between the City of Prestonsburg and state officials to dispute an objection from Emergent Care. Thursday, we spoke with Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton about the hearing. There's a shortage of personnel out there. There's a shortage of uh, paramedics. There's a shortage of EMTs. And we need to utilize the uh, workforce that we currently have employed and try to fill that void for emergency calls. Now, it doesn't just help the city of Prestonsburg. If we're able to answer the emergency calls in the city of Prestonsburg, that creates more ambulances ready to go out into the county to take care of other issues that are uh, that have become available or that come in need of. And we can, uh, by us taking that off their plate, it's going to offer up some room for them. Due to the lack of personnel, Stapleton says getting to residents is difficult as their fire station is solely tasked with the duty. Stapleton says having an ambulance service will help. You know, a lot of times they see our ambulance, uh, they see our fire department roll, and they have to go to emergency medical uh, call with a big fire truck. Um, that puts wear and tear on that fire truck, for instance. Taking one of our trucks that holds water out, and if it sets for a period of time at a scene, there's a chance that pumps could be damaged, uh, gaskets could be damaged. You know, it could it could affect our be able to use that in a uh, fire when needed. But by being able to respond in an ambulance, we can uh, relieve a lot of that uh, concern. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Lastly, if the certificate is acquired, Stapleton says they are ready to take on the role. I hope we get our CON application approved and uh, we're able to move forward. Uh, we're ready to take steps as quickly as possible. I know, <coughs> excuse me, the fire department is excited about being able to take on this new service for the city and for the citizens. And, uh, you know, it's all about the well-being of the people that uh, that pay our taxes. They, they pay our salaries. You know, these people are out there and they, they deserve this. And it's not a want, this is a need. The hearing will continue Friday, January 21st. A decision for the certificate will be made within 60 days. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.